listen to a new swing tutorial for this stunning knit dress that has a trendy turtleneck, a back tie and tumble hole cuffs. Trust me, this is a must have piece for your wardrobe and you'll sew it in no time. So grab your pattern from the description box below and let's begin sewing this fabulous knit dress. So here is my pattern ready to put it on the fabric to make this dress. You will need approximately 10 meters of stretchy fabric. I am using a knit fabric, but make sure to check the sewing guide instructions that comes with the pattern where you can find more fabric recommendations. When sewing with stretchy fabrics, it's important that you use a zigzag stitch or a searcher. Take the back dress panel and the front dress panels and place them right sides together. Pin the panels together along the shoulder seam and the neck seam. The pattern has a 1 cm seam allowance added. If you are using a serger to sew this dress, make sure to test first the seam allowance of your serger because most of the sergers have a 0.5 cm seam allowance. Next step is to sew the sleeves. Place them right sides together with the dress and matching the notches at the armholes, pin it in place. Now let's make the ties. Fold this strip in half lengthwise with the right sides of the fabric facing each other. Using a zigzag stitch, stitch the ties starting at one short end and all the way along the long side of the ties, leaving the other end open so you can turn the ties right side out. Using a loop turner, turn the ties right side out. Now let's stitch the side seams of the dress. Start by pinning the sleeves of the dress, matching the notches. When you reach the waistband notch, place the strap on the right sides of the dress on each end and pin or clip them in place. and pin the dress all the way down. Now you can stitch the dress all the way. Now let's make the tumble hole cuffs. Take the cuffs and fold it in half lengthwise. Find the middle of the cuff and measure 10 cm, 5 cm on each side. Next, measure on both sides 5 cm from the edges and make a notch using a scissor. Stitch only this segment using a zigzag stitch. Don't forget to repeat this process for the other cuff. Fold both ends of the first layer to the middle of the cuff to keep them out of the way. Grab the other layer and bring the ends together right sides. The cuff will be folded in half. Stitch with a zigzag stitch between the notch and the middle stitch. Now stitch on the other side as well. 
and don't forget to do the same for the other cuff. Now stitch the remaining ends with a zigzag stitch, one side at a time. Turn the cuff right side out and check if everything is stitched correctly. Now let's stitch the cuffs and the sleeves together. Make sure to match the seams of the cuffs with the side seams of the sleeves. Slide the sleeves into the cuffs, aligning the side seams and pin the cuffs in place. Now stitch all the layers in place with a zigzag stitch. Repeat for the other cuff. So the final step is to finish the row edges of the bottom of the dress and also the neckline. So I chose to make a lettuce hem. I will be using my serger to do this. So to make the roll hem you will need first to make a few adjustments to your serger. First of all, use the right needle here. Second, adjust your tension, seven, four, and five. Open your serger and remove the stitch finger. It's this one here. Move your stitch all the way down to seven and to R. So to make the lettuce hem, gently stretch the fabric from both the front and the back as you sew. The more you stretch, the wavy the hem will be. So this is how it should look, a little bit wavy. And your dress is ready. I hope you like this video and the result. If so, please support my channel with a like and a comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!